Alright. Just dick them. Like y'all give me John though. Dickhead. Little do they know the time starts now, so. Yeah, nah, dick them. <laughs> Alright, hold up. Money just texted me back. He could prevent. I'ma give you the B, buddy. Niggas just still moving iffy. I'm not saying you specifically, but niggas that you associate yourself with still act like they not fucking with me or bro. So it's like, I'm cool of everybody, you feel me? I'm gonna just keep my distance from everybody. There's no hard feelings, you feel me? Okay. But it is what it is. Like, ever since that day, I guess, bro and Brock was ever rumbling. Ever since that day, shit never been the same, bro. Like, so, it is what it is, bloody. And I'm gonna keep it a beam, son. Like, only problem I got with you is, like, I feel like I gotta, like, I feel like I'm begging you to drop a song that I'm out with you. Like, and I feel like when it came down to anybody else that was in the group, you didn't, like, you didn't hesitate to drop anything with them, you feel me? But when it came down to me, and you know, a song that was actually fire and that the fans actually wanted, you bullshitted me, bro. And I asked you multiple times, can we drop the song? Alright. <clears throat> Let's hop straight into it. Rumbling. Yeah. Uh, I respect your ex. Um, I thought we was cool enough to definitely be, you know, cordial, mutual, or friends. But I guess not. See you around. Um, yeah. Y'all, I'm not going to say too humpy is over, but too humpy is in shambles. Um, I don't like speaking about stuff because when you got like a big impact and then you speak about something, it make it bigger. Um, but I guess while I'm working, because I don't leave this house. Uh, I'm on day eight of streaming back to back to back. Uh, before that, I've been dropping quality content. I've been locked in to myself. I haven't seen some two humpy members in months, um, in months, like literally. And two humpy, Leek and I are my only friends. Um. And things got weird. It started between two members. And now it's breaking the whole group up. It's things I feel weird about. It's things everybody feel weird about. Um, I'm only talking about it because my feelings is hurt that something that started that ain't have nothing to do with nobody else is now I'm breaking the group up, bro. Um, the only members in Too Humpy is me, Rare, Brock, Leek, and Riggs. If I did not say their name, you don't have to ask. They are not Too Humpy anymore. Um, at all. Yeah, if I didn't say their name, they're not Too Humpy. Um... Which is cool. I'm not saying it like it's a prize. Or like it's super special or anything like that. At all. Um, Zoo. Unban my second page. Rodex G's 34. So that I can see chat. But yeah. Nobody else is into Humpy. Um, I'm only going to speak from what happened to me. Because I don't want to put anybody's stuff out there that had no business to do with me. So I'm just going to talk about Too Humpy and the group. Um, niggas is fake. Niggas is weirdos. And I'm honestly just sad, bro. 
like when y'all talk when y'all heard me tell a story time on like what happened with like you know the goats or whatever i was angry this time i'm actually sad bro my feelings are hurt um when i call somebody my friend i really look at them as my friend bro i'll do anything for you like anything Um, Leah, unban Rod XG34 so I can see the chat on my iPad. I'll do anything, bro. I'll do anything. Um, our plan as two humpy was to come together, take over the club scene, and then take over the world, content wise, music wise, and everything. And now it's all gone. It's actually been gone for about four or five months. Uh, for about four or five months, everything been wishy-washy. <sighs> niggas just unfollowed me today. Um, niggas told me, you know, keep my distance. Is really making me not want to let anybody in my circle. Because, bro, I talk to niggas, bro. I talk to niggas. I talk, bro. I talk to niggas. I'm the nigga who resolve everything, bro. I'm the nigga who call niggas like, yo, chill. Yo, just that in the third. Boom. I'm going to break down each member and the weird shit that happened. That made Too Humpy crumble. I don't even, bro. Because if I... I feel like that nigga right now, Zoo. I feel like, bro, because once I say something, bro, I'm going to go through each member. So, more recently, I am not cool with Miz or AJ. And my feelings are really hurt about that because out of anybody, a two humpy, rare, brill, AJ, and Miz, I felt closest with. Um, for many different reasons. Um, AJ recently got on live and told people how we wasn't cool, but... He doesn't have a big enough pull for everybody to know. I have a big pull, so when I let everybody know, it's really stamped. So that's why I hesitate to tell y'all things. But I'm going to tell it because I'm not backtracking and I'm not being friends with anybody who played me sneaky. Um, I'm going to speak from my memory, but I'm also going to speak from my phone because nothing is cat. For... A month prior to today, me, Miz, and AJ, and Leek has been like this. Why have we been like this? Because we all noticed Too Humpy was crumbling, and something happened with Money and Brill. Brock moved to L.A., so everything, and, and, and Rare got busy. So the only ones left in Philly is me, Miz, AJ, and Leek. So... I said, yo, we got to come together, and we was coming together. Y'all saw y'all saw we was doing TikToks together. They, he did the prank at my house. Um, AJ did a prank. All that. We did Freestyle Part 2. Um, I'm a really great friend, bro. I'm a really great friend. Once we decided we're going to come together, I let them know, yo, y'all could come to my house regardless. If niggas locked out their house, they want they don't want to be home because it's making them sad. Anything, niggas could sleep on my bed. I let these niggas sleep on my bed, bro. Anytime they was with me, 
on my mother's life. I made sure they didn't have to come out their pocket to, to, to pay for food. I, I made sure they didn't have to ask twice for an Uber home or an Uber to get to me. Ever, bro. Ever. 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 On my mother's life. I made sure they never. So. I really look out for y'all because y'all my homies. I love y'all how I know I love Nas and Leek. If y'all don't know who Nas and Leek is, that's my closest people to me. Period. In life, bro. That's the closest people to me right now. If anything happened to them, I quit. That's the closest people to me, and I was treating too humpy like that. I was treating them like my like like Nas and Leek. So it hurt when shit get nutty. Because shit is going on in a group with Brill and other people. But I had an understanding with Brill. Like, yo, bro, we... You know what I mean? And he texted me this morning. He texted me this morning and said, yo, bro. Niggas you associate yourself with, I ain't fucking with them. You my man, though. I said, yo. All that to the side. I respect that. You my man. And then chat like, yeah, bro. Niggas unfollowed you. And then niggas sent the TikToks. And, and niggas is throwing shots at me. Or at the, at the group. Like, bro, that's not nutty. Anyways, back to Miz and AJ, bro. This how it happened. And it was a small misunderstanding that turned to something crazy. I say, yo, I'm about to turn this shit up on YouTube, y'all. I'm talking to Too Humpy. I said, I'm about to turn this shit up on YouTube. I said, yo, I'm tired of be looking at, I'm tired of being looked at as last. I'm about to turn this shit up. I said, I, I got subathons. I got videos. I'm doing all this. I tell all my members that. I tell all of them. I'm about to turn this shit up. I'm about to take over, bro. I'm about to turn up. I, I feel like I could be great. I can do it. I, I've been film, fil, filming videos, filming videos, filming videos. They like, yo, ride you on your shit. One day I say, yo, bro. Miz, AJ, I need y'all. We about to do a two. We about to do a two humpy video. Rare, I need you too. Rare say, yo, bro, I might not be able to make it. I'm gonna let you know. I say, all right, bet. That's cool. If niggas can't make it, that's cool. Miz and AJ say. Miz and AJ say. They say, yo, bro, we about, we got something to do. So. I'm like, all right, bro, we, we like, we really need y'all. Like, you feel me? That's a, that's a real John, bro. He said, you know what, bro? Fuck that. I was about to go to a football game. Fuck that, John. I said, bet. I said, all right, bet. So I text the boy who venue I had. I paid him $400. Paying $400 for the spot so we could shoot the video. White wall, background wall. I'm about to do a video full of Too Humpy. I'm trying to bring Too Humpy back. I'm doing, I'm trying to do Too Humpy or, orient, oriented um, content. Fucking, I'm sitting there for two hours, bro. I call niggas six times or like four times. Niggas is not answering, but niggas is posting them with bitches at a football game. Niggas never hit my phone. I text niggas like, never mind, bro. It's cool. Now, at this point, this not was breaking our bond up. All right, you don't show up to my shoot. This don't break up the bond. It don't break up the bond. It don't break up the bond, but that was a little fucked up. Brock comes down to Philly. Mind you, $400 down the drain. $400. Alright, fuck it. Cool. It happens, bro. For bitches, alright, that's nutty. But it happens, bro. I understand. I'm a boy. I understand, bro. A girl you might have liked might have been there. You wanted to, you wanted to be there because you got a little bit of clout. And... You know, since you got a little bit of clout, you're going to get the, the attention. I know how everything feel. Everything, every villain or every bad thing that somebody do, I know how it feel. Brock comes to Philly. They say, yo, let's meet up at the stew. So before Miz and AJ could say they're going to come to the stew, niggas, niggas is like, I'm not going to Miz say, Miz say, yo. Oh, Miz say, 
I'm not gonna lie, bro. I feel the energy. I feel the energy been off. Cause I didn't text him for a week. Now before this week, bro, AJ first day of school just happened. I, I he slept in my bed, bro, in my bed. We just made a song. He slept in my bed, bro. I stayed up all night editing while missing. AJ slept in my bed, bro. Niggas got socks on. I don't say nothing to him. In my bed, sleeping in my bed, bro, my house, in my room. Niggas, first day of school, they excited to go to the first day of school. They like, yo, it feel good. I say, yo, bro, go in my closet. Pick any pair of sneakers you want. You can have it, bro. You my mans. I'm going to make sure you cool. I said, yo, y'all not consistent on YouTube. I don't want to just be the only one winning. I said, bro, if y'all post four videos in one month, I will give y'all $500 just for being consistent. I told them how I plan my videos. I said, list of a, 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 a full list of videos and pick one for each week. So y'all saw the video when he posted, when he pranked me at this house? That was one, one video. I said, I'll give y'all $500 if y'all post four videos in one month just to be consistent. I don't want nothing from it. I don't want your money. I told them how to start the, the ad revenue. I told them how to start their distro kid to start making money off their music. I'm not just a nigga like, yeah, bro, I'm leeching. Stay around me. I'm teaching you how to make money too, bro. Behind the scenes. Yo, Rod, can we can we film a lyric a lyric genius video to to freestyle part two? Yes, we can, bro. Come to my house. We we film it. Yo, it got messed up. Can we film it again? Yes, we can, bro. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I'm saying yes to niggas. Now, while while we wasn't talking, I wasn't going to cut them off. But the fact that they text the group chat, they only text the group chat to say something about how it been awkward because we got to see each other in person because Brock is back and everybody is coming to see Brock. So I felt some type of way. AJ says, yo, bro, I got too much in life going on. Uh, to be worrying about it. So I'm not here worrying about this no more. Niggas know it's all love. It's all love for you, right? But I'm not worrying about this. I got too much in life going on. I said, I, I started to feel like, damn, bro. I felt like we was closer than I thought, bro. That's my fault. That hurt my stomach, bro. That hurt my stomach, bro. That hurt my stomach. I said, what? He said, I don't ever feel like myself right now. I said, bro, you posting with bitches. You on your spam. You doing TikToks every day. You on you on you on Instagram and TikTok live with Wuda talking about drama. But you never hit me up after the video shoot. So if you was feeling, how you gonna tell me you don't give a fuck no more, bro? I still give a fuck. Cause I give a fuck about y'all, bro. So how don't you give a fuck? I played it too close. I played it too close. I thought we was closer than, than than what we really was. We not really that close then. That's crazy. That's snaky, bro. So first, first and then he's my fault for ghosting you. So you ghost me. You 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 don't hit back after a week after I just did everything, all that for y'all. You my man, the nigga that y'all on live with. Made y'all, bro, sleep in the car, bro, so he could fuck somebody. I made sure y'all got back home to Philly. I do everything, bro. I make sure y'all cool. I'm always genuine. And niggas can't show up for me. Niggas can't hit my phone. Even if you hit my phone like, bro, you bitching about a video. That's hitting me up. I ain't say you got to hit me up like, yo, I apologize. Kiss my ass. You just got to say, you just got to say, yo, bro. My fault. Or, bro, why you bitching? Y'all, I'm bitching because of this. Alright, my fault. Simple. So, mind you, Wuda, if you're watching, I have no, I have no beef with Wuda. But me and Wuda are not like this anymore. So, since we not like this, and some of the people in my group don't fuck with Wuda. I'm not saying any names. I told y'all I'm not talking about other business. So, Wuda, if you watching this, don't drop no fucking video on me, nigga. Me and Wuda are not like this. We cordial. Alright? So, since we cordial, 
I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there, and it's been times woulda come up, and we say we ain't really fucking with that. You feel me? We not fucking with that. We ain't fucking with woulda got going on. And AJ and Miz, right? What is? Oh yeah, we ain't fucking with that. We stopped talking for a week. Now y'all his bestie. Y'all on live saying, yeah, I ain't cool with Rod. Y'all that quick to go on live, tell him, tell, and say y'all not cool with me. Y'all never hit me up. Y'all go right, y'all go right to him. Now, mind you, Wood ain't do nothing, bro. He ain't never, he ain't, you feel me? He ain't do nothing to me. He, this is about too humpy. But y'all go, y'all go, like, you, <laughs> Y'all a trio now. Imagine how it looked to me if you ghost me. I start feeling bad tension. We never talk. Now you dropping a part two to a song with the nigga. You on live with the nigga. Bro. How am I supposed to be your mans? Nas, Nas or Leak would never. Rare would never do that to me. Ever. They would never do that to me, bro. Why do that to me? Now, Miz, I'm going to give props. Miz said, yo, bro, that, that was my fault, bro. I just want to know if we cool or not. But I started to feel like, Miz, if you're homie, your right hand homie, you leak. I got a leak. Your leak feels like, yeah, bro, I don't give a fuck no more, bro. Nigga, stop being cool every day. If he feel like that, I feel like you feel like that too, bro. You my man. So it's, a, it's just a taking a step back from him. He not slimy, but I feel like, I feel like, damn, bro, now I'm not cool with niggas, bro. That's super slimy, bro. That's slimy, bro. That's super slimy, bro. But my thing with Miz is you ain't hit me neither, bro. Now to the other members. Too Humpy break down. Too Humpy started breaking because Brock and Brill want to keep fighting each other like dickheads. So now I'm going to Brill. Bro, it's not that deep. I'm going to Brock. It's not that deep. I'm going to Brill. It's not that deep. I'm going both of them. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. Y'all going to break up the group. Y'all going to break up the group because every time they argue, everybody pick a side. Boom, 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 boom. So since everybody pick a side, they starting to feel like, yo, bro, you doing too much. And they starting to feel like, yeah, bro, he doing too much. So I'm I'm building a bridge. I'm building a gap. Keep building it together. The niggas, they, they didn't fought each other twice. And the reason they fighting is dumb. It's dumb, bro. Is dumb. We in the middle of rehearsing for a show. Y'all fighting. The DEO effect is a thing now. You my man, bro. This been going on for months. That has nothing to do with me. So for months I've been saying, yo, bro, chill. And money back in this play. Money just told me, yo, bro, respectfully I'm taking a step back from you, right? Because the people you around, I don't fuck with them. I respect that. Cool. But he believes that he he's unbiased. He don't take brill work. Brill side regardless. That's your right hand man, bro. You take his side regardless. So since So since Brill is beefing with Brock, money is like, yeah, I'm cool off Brock too. And then it turned into an actual hate. Mind you, we telling Brock, bro, don't say nothing, bro. We telling Brock, don't say nothing, bro. Like None of none of that like none of that matters. We like yo, Brock. Beef gets you nowhere, bro. None of that matter. None of that matter. None of that matter. None of that matter. He chilling. He chilling. 
We, bro, we comp brought down three, three, four, five, six times. Now, mind you, nobody in Too Humpy is a bitch. So now, bro, like, I'm going to pull up on you, Brock. Like, yeah, you could come. They trying to fight each other. Nobody's a bitch, bro. And that's the reason that Too Humpy class so much because I'm not a bitch. Rare's not a bitch. Brill's not a bitch. Money is not no bitch. Nobody taking nothing from nobody, but I'm I'm old enough to I'm old enough to be like, yo, bro, yo, we gotta chill. Everybody, let's chill. Let's chill. It's not that deep. I'm letting niggas know it's niggas out here make y'all know how much talent we got, bro. You my man. When I made no munchies, I put Brill on it. We bombed. We did a part two put rare on it. We bombed. We did a group a group song. We bombed on niggas. You my man. AJ and Miz as a duo. Bomb. Uh chunky. Then we do freestyle part two. Bomb on them. You my man. That joint hit 800 k We oh we bombing. You my man. We cooking niggas. How we cooking niggas so bad, but still fighting, bro. So I'm trying to build niggas back up. As I'm trying to build niggas back up, my managers is is calling me. My music manager calling me. Yeah, Brill's not on the team no more. I call Brill. Yo, bro, you're not on the team no more? I'm cool off niggas. I'm like, damn, bro, I feel like you disconnecting from me. He like, he tell me this. He tell me this. That's why I'm still cool with Brill. He said, yo, bro, different management, but, bro, we still the same niggas. I say, yo, you know what, bro? I ain't fighting it no more. All right, we still the same niggas. We cool. I call Brill for a vid. Yo, bro, I'll pop through for you anytime. Let me know all oh, this. I'm letting me know. Anytime you need me, I got you too, bro. All that. All that. But also, I'm saying, yo, Brock is my mans. We're in the group. I'm telling him, chill. Can y'all chill? Can y'all not at least troll? Why do y'all need to post stuff on social media or throw shots every time? Why is it on y'all chest? Why your chest so heavy? Why you... Y'all, y'all, y'all big, bad, tough men. Why are y'all feeling the need to do this? A man that lives, Brock lives in LA. A man that's on a five and a half flight away, a five and a half hours. Why do you feel the need to keep throwing subs? Now, I'm not saying Brock is innocent. Brock trolls, but Brock didn't start this beef. Brock just started trolling, so I'm like, bro, y'all got to chill. I'm slowing niggas down. Then I started to feel like, I started to feel like, you know what, bro? I can't fix too humpy by myself. Whatever y'all do, y'all do. I'm cool with everybody. I'm cool. I'm cool with everybody. Just before the mid shit happened. So now I'm cool with Brill and Money on a separate occasion. I'm cool with Brock by himself because he's so far. Rare doing his own thing, so I'm cool with him and Riggs over there. Me and Lee, everybody's separate, but I'm still cool with everybody. Fuck it, bro. I can't patch it, but I'm going to stay cool with everybody. Fuck it. Now niggas on whole new management teams. Now niggas in different states, rocking different states. Now rare flight, 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 back to back, flight to flight. He never in Philly now. Now I can't ever see my man's. I'm not seeing nobody. I'm not seeing nobody, bro. I'm like, damn, this shit feel bad. And that's what hurt me the most because that's what brought me, AJ, and Miz closer. We all was feeling the same shit. We had a talk like, yeah, bro, it feel bad, bro. Too Humpy really dicked, bro. We dicked. All right, fuck it. We gonna lock in. So the fact that y'all pulled that shit on me, it's like, bro, y'all just switch sides? For what? We was supposed to, like, we felt that shit. We was supposed to be the only standing thing. We did freestyle part two. Y'all want to do YouTube? I can help y'all with that. We all do. Y'all wasted my time and my money. My time and my money, bro. And what hurt me the most is everybody, everybody in the group, like, yo, yeah, bro. Fuck him, boy. He's sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. You feel me? Because he did some sneak ass shit. He swapped teams up behind her back. After that, he stopped showing up for shit for us. After that, he started throwing subs. So, niggas, niggas are saying you sneaky. And I'm saying, yo, 
bro, you you know where we at, bro. I called him and shit. You feel me? Talk to him sometimes. Saw him one time. I tried to bring bring the group right back together. I tried to do a Duke on part two. Me and bro, future and rare. Duke on part two. Let's bomb on these niggas. Let's turn it up. Oh, just at the third. You my man. The studio vibe, super awkward. I'm like, yo, it's done. It's really dicked, bro. It's dick. The studio vibe dicked. Nobody, nobody, nobody talking. Nobody busting jokes. We there like we businessmen. I'm like, this shit is done. That's the day I knew. Damn, this shit is done. What I'm crying for, this not my group. Bro, my chest hurt right now, bro. I don't think they knew what they meant to me type shit. That shit hurt my stomach, bro. So since Real moved away from the group, but... Moved away from the group with money. Now he not cool with nobody. Now, now they, and then, nigga say, nigga say, yeah, bro, humpy my word. We too humpy. Y'all leave. Fuck. No. Cause he a petty beef. No, this our shit. We build this. Who who pays the anthem on? Who who made up the name? Who bringing y'all together? Who paying for shit? Who? What you talking about, boy? <laughs> like what? No, y'all are not too humpy. I'm too humpy. That's my shit. And I feel, I feel like I'm not leaving my shit. I'm gonna redo it with different people, but I'm not leaving it. Why would I leave my nigga? <laughs> I'm like, bro, nigga, what? Y'all tripping. That's our name. All right, that's both our name then. They just going to keep thinking we in the group. How you leave something? How you leave a group of people? Too Humpy is a group of people. You left us and then say, yeah, give me the name. It's not your credit, bro. How, how, how? You left us. We didn't leave you. We didn't kick you out. You you left. But mind you, I'm thinking I'm cool with everybody. Now look, money feels some type of way with me, as y'all saw in earlier, because I text him. Before I told this, I text, I, I called Rare. I said, yo, bro, how you feeling? He said, niggas is throwing subs at us on Instagram for no reason. I said, wow, okay. At this time, I didn't ever know I was unfollowed. Right? I, I text Brill. I said, bro, you just text. I'm, I'm, I'm like, yo, bro, you just text me this morning. This was his message this morning. This is bro message this morning. Yo, slime. I'm cool off all them niggas. I know you backing them niggas, so fuck it. But I want you to be safe out there. I got love for you. Still, feel me? I said, I feel you, bro. I respect that. I love you, bro. Niggas like, yeah, bro. Why bro unfollow you? He followed me yesterday. I just saw a nigga shit yesterday. So you sent me that message that don't follow me. Why you keep looking at my phone? I'm looking at chat. I'm not about to look at chat over there. I'm looking at what y'all saying. What does throwing subs mean? Throwing a shot at me without saying my name. So he tell me, yo, bro, it's all cool, then. I'm following me. I text him with a question mark. 30 minutes pass. Nobody saying nothing. I say, yo, bro. I'm, before I even tell this, I say, yo, bro, with a question mark. Nobody say nothing. I text, I text, I text, I text, uh. I text, I text money. What's up? The niggas you associate with, what? I don't fuck with them. So fuck me? Was we never cool? That's my thing with all these niggas. Was we never cool? Was we never cool, bro? Was we never cool? 
that's some never cool shit. That's some shit like, yeah, we ain't never been cool. Bro, it got me feeling like it's fake love. Because I don't do shit like that. I don't wake up and unfollow niggas. I don't wake up and think, let me make a TikTok on niggas. I don't wake up and make an Instagram story on niggas. I don't wake up thinking about making this video. I don't wake up about none of that because y'all my homies. So all this shit is about to be... Because even if even if Too Humpy really end up ending, it would never hit the internet. So my thing is, bro, we followed each other before today, as in October 21st. What, what, in October 20... On October 21st, Saturday, today, what made you unfollow me? The beat, the shit been happening. What made you text me and say, yeah, bro, the niggas you fuck with, I don't fuck with them. What made you today say, yo, I, yeah, I definitely don't fuck with them. Especially when you just send me a, a, a good message. So, no, bro, it's not too humpy. No money is not too humpy. No AJ is not too humpy. No Miz is not too humpy. You my man. And then even my thing with Miz and AJ is every time, and mind you, again, Wuda, you're not in this, bro. Trust. You don't have to. Look, we, we mutual. Look, again, though. Anytime something not going up good over there with Wuda, they come to me and rare. Anytime something weird with me and rare, they go back to Wuda. The reason Miz got so close with Rare is because Wuda did something weird to him. So Rare had to save him. So now he with us. Not so close with us, go to Wuda. After you go to Wuda, he do something weird. We say, yo, that was weird, bro. Come on. We got you, bro. You my man. We got you. We stopped talking for a week. Now y'all back with the nigga. <laughs> that y'all was just talking about. Y'all was just talking about him. Y'all was just talking about him. So now I feel like either I'm not your friend and you're using me or you flip floppy. So it wasn't that I couldn't patch this up with them this time. It was, nigga, stay where you at, bro. Because if we on our downs, we supposed to be on our downs together. We supposed to just not talk for a week. You ain't, po you ain't supposed to be like, yeah, bro, I'm going to just go do that. You supposed to be down with me. If we talk in a week and then we, uh, yeah, yeah because when we up, I make sure, bro, when we up, I make sure y'all cool. I make sure y'all cool every time, bro. Y'all hurt my feelings, bro. Trust me. Y'all hurt my feelings. If y'all watching this, y'all hurt my feelings. Y'all did. And I'm only saying it like that because y'all my homies. Anybody else, I would say, I would be a nigga about it and say, I don't give a fuck. Just down the third. I do give a fuck. And y'all hurt my feelings. Bill, super fake. Miz, super fake. AJ, that was super fake. Um, Money, we have never been close. We have never been close. Anytime we talk as a mutual job, money, even though niggas wasn't fucking with you, bro. I told you happy birthday. Sent you $50 on your birthday. I said, yo, bro, we got to get up. Your birthday was two weeks ago. That's not something, I didn't post, I didn't post that, yo, I sent money, I sent money to money for this birthday. It wasn't a flex, it was because I love you. So why am I being, yeah, bro, the niggas you around. And during the week, I'm not talking to Miz and AJ. Guess what I do? Guess what I do? The, 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 the week I'm not talking to AJ and Miz, AJ birthday was that week. So I said, yo, I, I commented happy birthday anyway. 
You know why? Because it's your birthday, bro, and you my homie. So even if we down, I'm going to tell you happy birthday, bro. Anyway. Anyway. It's no beef between none of these niggas. It's no beef. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Wooda is no beef. Trust, bro. It's no beef with Wooda. It's no beef with Brills. No beef with Money. No beef with AJ or no beef with Miz. I'm just telling y'all. Too Humpy is in shambles, and they are no longer members, and don't associate me with them. So now for five months, I'm looking at y'all comments. Yeah, bro. Where, 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 bro, where money? Oh, drop, drop, drop this song. Do this. And I'm like, yeah, bro, we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it, bro, because I ain't about to tell our business. I'm going to keep going because anything could get better. Y'all my homies. We go through thick and thin. Shit, just keep getting thinner and thinner, bro. We can't it keep getting thinner and thinner, bro. So I'm not beefing with nobody. No, I'm not. Um. Why not? Because my feelings hurt. Fuck, I'm gonna fight you about it. You're not my. You're not my girlfriend. You just a L man's. Uh, I'm not fighting nobody about hurting my feelings. It's cool. It's just it's just teaching me who to let into my inner circle. And it hurt, bro. I'm just be honest. It, it just it just hurt, bro. Nobody called me, but I called niggas. Imagine putting out the most output and calling niggas to communicate and still losing. How that work? Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Um, and it make me understand why the niggas who up be so like, like, I don't know where where I want to take it. Cause now it's making me say like, I don't ever want to take it. I don't know why I want to take it with niggas. And, and money, he's upset because he feel like, yo, bro, when you want to drop a song with niggas, you drop it right away, but you won't drop cameras. I say, yo, bro. I told him, I said, yo, bro. Um, when I drop when I drop songs, I drop it real strategic because to be honest with y'all, I know I'm very talented at music. Do I think? That the masses would agree, as in multiple people, no. So when I drop songs, I only drop it when I know that shit is going to shoot. So No Munchies was just a drop. Once that went off, that's been the expectation. That's the bar for me. So my work, the way I work, bro, y'all know my work. Y'all know my workflow, my work level. So once I drop that and y'all got that to 3 million, I said, oh, shit. I got to turn up. Duke them, 900K. You my man. And any songs that's out with me are my songs. So when he say drop songs with niggas, I'm looking like, drop songs with who? My only features are too humpy. Any song with any other nigga, Brill, Rare, is my song. So he want to drop Cameras. Cameras is a song that me and Money got. It still could be dropped. I let him know, yo, bro, we could drop it. Little do he know, I took a step back from YouTube. I bought new cameras. I got new crew. I said, yo, we going to upgrade our content. I came back to YouTube. I took a step back from Twitch. I come back. I, I came back last week. I came back to Twitch last week. I told y'all. I've been on stream consistently seven, eight days. I'm streaming every day for the rest of the year on Twitch. She loves Rod. Go follow it, nigga. I took a step back from Twitch. I came back to Twitch subathon. I'm going to give y'all another subathon in December, and I'm streaming every day. I came back stronger. I'm trying to come back to music stronger. So he texted me the other day, and he's like, yo, can we drop it? John, I said, yo, let's get some traction built up for it. I know we had traction, but we missed it. I'm going to keep it up. We missed it. Let's see if they still got it. Post the snippet. We're going to build that shit up. We're going to drop it. Say no more, bro. It's no traction built. Why would I just drop it? I'm not, bro. I'm not. You my man, bro. Rappers get one hit song and they start buying chains. Y'all don't see me with no chain. Y'all don't see me with no watch. They start buying designer. Y'all don't see me dripping out. 
and and thinking I'm the shit. I know I could drop a song any day, and that shit will not hit you, my man. <laughs> I'd be scared to drop music, realistically. So I won't drop a song unless I know y'all fucking with it. I just keep the shit to myself. I'm not a rapper. I'm a YouTuber. So when when I so since I'm a realist to that, because niggas will start turning up thinking they're the best rappers. It's an accomplishment. It feels super sturdy to me. But at the end of the day, once everything in, once I lay my head on the pillow, I am a st- I'm, I'm a YouTuber, bro. Trust. Trust. I can be as good as I want. I will not trick myself into thinking I'm the best rapper in the world. I'm not going to pay $2,000 for a video and then drop a song and then, mind you, <laughs> I ain't even going to get into that. Drop the song and then... You mean? Yeah, I'm a YouTuber who rap on the side. It got to be perfect, bro. I be trying to have green releases. Bro, when I dropped No Munchies 2, y'all was like, oh, my God. I said, oh, yeah, I got to get that done. When I dropped Hump, all on my all on my page. To be real, I just want to hump. Niggas kept doing it. I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm giving that to them. I'm giving that to them. So once I see niggas really love it, I put it out there, play with it, show y'all my songs I make at home, all that. I'm not a rapper, so he didn't understand that. I, I said, let's build some traction. Make a dance to it, a challenge. Post it up. You my man. The perfect time to post it was after On The Radar. But No Munchies 2, had, it was time for No Munchies 2. I was dropping No Munchies 2. So he, he felt some type of way about that. But if you're watching this money, nothing ever been personal towards you. And mind you, I was going to pay for everything. Any video y'all see on my page... On my page, two humpy anthem, no munchies, no munchies one, duke em, sober shit. I paid for it out of my own pocket. Nobody has ever paid for it for me. So I was gonna pay for it because it's my song. Everything it's on me. It's literally my call. I can do it. Build some traction up and I'm gonna drop it. Simple. It's not that yo real one is so I'm super excited. I dropped zone by myself. It hit over four hundred K. I dropped sober shit by myself. I dropped songs by myself. You feel me? It's not like, yo, somebody tough on it. Like, no, I don't look at you like you're littler. I don't look at you like you're less talented. You run shit, bro. You run shit. And I, w- and I hope that you drop music more often. You do your thing, bro. So, this kind of just like a farewell to Too Humpy. And I had to get it off my chest because my feelings was hurt once I saw niggas then unfollow me or whatever. But, um, I'm going to conclude off with, yo, money, drop more consistently, you know? Drop more consistently, bro. Uh, I wish the best to you. Turn that shit up. Um, Brill, super talented. Uh, don't sit here. Let it go to waste. You my man. W, super talented. And they so... You my man. They so... Um, they so... Um, fucking... They so one-track minded. So like... They be on lower levels with shit, bro. So if y'all take this offensive, oh well. I gotta say that. Like, I'm like, yo, if y'all take it offensive, oh well. Because they'll listen to this shit and be like, yeah, bro, you just dissed me. They gonna look at this like I dropped the diss track on them. Um, but. Yeah, you super talented, bro. You get more active. Miz and AJ, super talented, bro. Stay active how y'all is. And keep y'all friends close, bro. Y'all L-Mans. That was L-Mans move. And it's cool. Fuck it. You probably wasn't meant to be friends. That's super sturdy. Oh, well. You knew Leak before all this. Y'all grew up with each other. So that's that was nutty. Um, Don't even know. Like, come on, bro. Uh, You knew him before you knew AJ. Um, what? Fuck it. You know, all y'all be safe. Um, Too Humpy is not done. Y'all about to see me brocking, uh, me brock as the artist, as the rappers, uh, because, you know, we still got Leak and, uh, Riggs. But as me, Rare, and Brock, y'all about to see us carry this shit. Turn it back up. God told you cut niggas off. I guess, bro. That's that's super nutty, though. You my man. I don't know. I was feeling good, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It felt good to have you, you mean. But 
Yeah, keep doing your thing, bro. That was just an L man's move. Um. Like I said, it's, like, it it's nothing personal. I'm just telling you how I feel. Feel me? At the end of the day, you still my bloody. At the end of the day, like regardless of however this shit goes, feel me? Like at the end of the day, I still want to see you succeed and be successful. Oh, same shit. Right. Like, where the hottest shit go, you feel me? Like, there's no... Yep, you be safe too, bro. You be safe. I hope that shit go well. Um, yeah, I was just telling my chat how, um... I just felt that was super nutty. But, that shit, you mean? That shit, whatever. You be safe. That's super nutty, bro. I'm going to stop making friends. I see niggas like, oh, bro, cool. Oh, yeah, you can come around, bro. It's no problem. It's too easy. You my man. Niggas is done. Yeah, I'm, I'm done making friends, bro. Be like Kwani. Make some racks. Chill, Zoo. Ba <laughs> zoo, chill. <laughs> chill, Zoo. <laughs> Damn, that hurt, bro. I feel like a breakup. Yikes. So Leak and Ride still cool. You my man. That's my guy. He not going nowhere. What happened? I was just doing something. Don't stop making friends. No, because look, y'all know the niggas that's like higher than everybody. They'll be cool with you in person. They'll keep it cool, but they don't play nobody close, bro. They actually a little harsh. I understand, bro. I understand. You gotta be, <laughs> you gotta be harsh for niggas coming to your shit and start fucking shit up. You feel me, like <laughs> you my bad. That shit hurt. This job feel like a breakup. That shit on my chest. Think about whoever y'all right hand man is. And imagine them doing anything that one of them niggas I just talked about did. That's super nitty. Hello? Okay. What you say? I said you can have me on. You can have me on speakerphone. I just gotta tell you something real quick. You don't gotta take me on. Oh, okay. All right. Listen, man, it hurt me to see you hurt, but something like this, it just had to happen. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you just gotta be exposed to certain shit mm -hmm. so you can learn something. It's just a life lesson. But what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to change who you are. You too fucking super. You are too fucking solid, and you don't let a situation like this change the man that you are. All you do is adjust and you learn from it. I like what you said about M earlier, how you said you want to be there for M the way you expect them niggas to be there for you. Don't stop being there for the niggas that need you just because the niggas that you need ain't there for you. But you peep you it, mom. Saying? You peep it how even you earlier with saying? M, that's just a smaller situation where I'll talk to niggas every time. I don't care because at the end of the day, I'm never going to do nothing that's like relationship breaking. To, to, you know what I mean? So I'm always ready to just be the bigger person every time. Why I got to keep making friends to be the bigger person when niggas want to be nutty? That shit hurt, too, because we spent months together, bro. We slept on the same couch, all that. Do you hear what you said? You said, I'm not like them. I would never do that. So don't be like them and don't do that. Stay solid to who you are. Still be yourself. You don't let nobody change you. You just take this as a lesson. You learn from it. You adjust and you move forward. But you can't change you. Sherrod, you too solid. We raised you too good and outside of us raising you, once we let you go, you just made yourself, you elevated yourself and made yourself even better than what we taught you to be. You don't let these niggas change who you are. You just adjust. And you take from it. You gotta take from it. And you become fucking better. 
That's what you do. You become better. And I know you hurt. I know you hurt. But this had to happen. The wool had to be pulled from your eyes. You had to see it. You young. So you gonna get past this. I know I'm gonna get past it. But don't change yourself. Yes. You gonna get past this. You gonna elevate. And you gonna look back on this. A few months from now, a year from now, weeks from now, and it's gonna be a small thing. But right now, it's not small. It hurt. I dig it. You treated these niggas like you treated Leek and, and, and Nas. I get it. And Leek and Nas is everything to you. I understand. But don't stop making friends. Don't stop loving people. Don't stop. Don't stop letting people get close to you. Cause being close to you is like I don't want to make it seem kind of cocky, but I'm sorry, you my son, so I'm gonna say it. Being close to you is a fucking gift. It's a present. So when someone lose you, they losing a lot. They taking an L. And I know some people might not feel it. They might think I'm just talking because that's my son. Okay, I understand. But loser Sherrod is, is, is taking an L. He a W man's. You understand what I'm saying? You a W man's. Mm-hmm. So just take from this. You know what I'm saying? Take some time for yourself. Let it all out. You know what I'm saying? And then you gotta move forward. That's all. But I don't want you to. I don't want you to shut yourself off. I hear it. I hear you ready to be like, man, fuck everybody. If it ain't leaking, it ain't nice. Then it ain't nothing. Or right, you know, what I'm saying? don't do that. I don't want you to do that. Don't do that, son. Mm-hmm. Don't shut yourself off. You too thorough, man. It's millions and zillions of people that need to meet your ride. It's millions of people that you know. what I'm saying, it might not. You might not be millions. It's select a few that need to be in your circle. They might not need to be in your circle, son. They might not. They might not be for you. Mm-hmm. And it was okay to test it. It was okay to try. But they not for you, and that's cool. And they gonna elevate in their own way, and you gonna elevate in your own way. But don't you shut down. Don't close no fucking doors. Okay. Don't stop reaching out. Don't stop venting. Don't stop being yourself. You hear me? Mm-hmm. All right. I love you, H. Hey, I love y'all. All right. I love you, mom. Alright, so. Love you too, Dukes. Ride holding back real pain. I don't cry, bro. I haven't cried since my mom passed. There's been a lot of hurtful shit. I don't cry, so it just be like, I just make a song about it, but. That shit, <clears throat> that shit be, uh, that shit be on my chest, bro. But, whatever, bro. Um, shit no more. Are y'all ready to start the jump? I got you, bro. My man. I got you, bro. No bullshit. Why y'all niggas? Lock that, bro. Why y'all niggas? Lock that, bro. Why y'all niggas? Cool, man. We're going to be cool, bro. We felt that shit. That shit hurt. Damn. It hurt, bro. Damn, man. I like you more, bro. I like you more, bro. That's cool, man. Got it. Y'all. Us three, bro. Come on, Lee. Bro. Outside the classic. All right. Outside the classic. Yo, us three, bro. Clue with my young boy Tay, bro. We're gonna fucking take over. You feel me? What we going through? What 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 we're going through right now? We going through too. We feel his shit. You feel me? Um, we all feel this shit as a collective type shit. And when we all when we all go through shit, we all come out stronger. Like we've been through some other crazy shit too. You feel me? This is just up there with some. You feel me? Cause the more you grow up, you start to care about people more. Mm-hmm. And that's all we did. We just cared for niggas more, and we, we just got more feelings and shit. Mm-hmm. So, we just see it ain't there. So, yeah, ma. Hey. Hey. I need you to, to, to chill out, okay? Mm-hmm. I really hate seeing you hurt. So, like, I got a pretext from you, and I'm like, yo, chill. <laughs> I need you to heal from this before you talk about it. Mm-hmm. You got what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't don't let nobody everybody control it in there. Like you're controlling what you're saying. I need you to not say certain things. Right. You you you're a whiteboard, you plan out what you're gonna say. You don't just say everything. Mm-hmm. 
talked about it i think it was kind of on the back burner so when as you, the more i said my chest mm-hmm, started it, it'd be like that like when you talk about stuff actually vote like when you actually vocalize stuff mm-hmm. you actually feel it more you start to articulate it more and actually you feel me mm-hmm. it's like explaining like oh how i how i got the certain skill or something like that mm-hmm. once you explain it something you you realize more than what it actually is mm. It's kind of one of them things. Okay. So once you explaining like your feelings and stuff like that, and how you, it's like, damn, it's more than what it actually is, and <laughs> yeah, letting him out. As yeah. I'm saying that, I'm stopping to say like, damn, I'm about to say this. This what happened? I was stopping because I'm like, bro, this sound op to say like that. They did that. I'm mm-hmm. still trying to be cool with niggas. Nah, I didn't know I cared that much. You my man, and you my man. But as I, as I was just breaking that shit down, it just started to hurt more. Because it's like, dang, bro, why? But once I put myself in the position to say, bro, y'all could kill each other. Y'all could break up all y'all want. I am I want to be cool with every, every nigga separate. Mm-hmm. I thought that was my protection. I thought it was like, I've been thorough. Mm-hmm. You're Yo, still All being- right, you're not cool with Rare. That's cool. You're not cool with him. All right, cool. Boom. And then it's like, bro, shit still like. Trickling down, niggas being weird. Niggas got shit to deal with themselves personally, and they let that, and they let it out on on other people, bro. Like, that's it. That's just is what it is, bro. That's cool, y'all. Yeah. They got stuff internally that they didn't, that they need to handle, type shit. I ain't letting this stop the subathon, bro. No, uh, it's not. Give me uh. This gonna be a. This is a great subathon already. Yeah. They don't. They don't even know what we got in, in store. But tomorrow and the next day after that yeah and the next day after that <laughs> you feel me yeah Yo, we really planned this joint out and this is just something i think this is kind of one of those full circle moments that just needed to happen on stream this needed this this kind of needed to happen because mm-hmm. now they're they're transparently seeing some real ass shit unfold right in front of like it's not like the other situation with 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 uh with Kate where mm-hmm. you where that shit already happened and you were explaining it. This mm-hmm. is un literally this unfolded right. Yeah, it was happening face. on stream. I'm mm-hmm. getting messages like, "Yo, bro, look what these niggas doing. They they doing nut ass shit, throwing subs." Then I'm getting messages like, "Yeah, bro, we still cool." I'm getting all this while I'm in my subathon. Mm-hmm. Niggas saying, "Yo, bro, call me." I'm like, "Yo, I can't hop on no calls." Niggas said, "Call me right now." I'm like, "I can't. I'm I'm streaming." So all this is happening. When I put myself in the position to make sure I could still have my homies. And it's still like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. I already took the L. All right, business-wise, we probably won't be able to get no business shit done. Y'all still my homies, though. If mm-hmm. I still call y'all, y'all, y'all got me because I got y'all. And it's it just still no. It's still no, bro. Still no. So I hear, I hear my mom, but it just feel like. Oh, man. In a year, let's see where niggas at. That's That's cool. all you can say, bro. In yeah. a year, in six months, by January, let's see where niggas at. That's cool. Uh, I'm about to say if y'all if y'all to go from uh, 
any video after Ark City I see I really I'm 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 really uh I had to take a step back and say I need to utilize my niggas more as in Nas as in Leak so y'all see me leak Nas and Key more often like boot camp video y'all saw it was just you feel me or this after that or in between that y'all see I try to keep I'm gonna keep it within my fam and we just gonna build this shit from the ground up so if you support me I love you um and yeah we gonna run this shit up Subathon don't start we ain't letting them niggas take too much more time Nas push that red button that's flickering red Where? on the stream deck the one that's flickering red, yeah.